Welcome to the It's Me Learning tutorial series. We are sharing instructional videos each month featuring need to know and commonly misunderstood topics in the creative industry. My name is Alfie and this week I'm going to talk to you about the top five digital illustration programs to use. This is Adobe InDesign. InDesign is a desktop publishing and page layout application. It's great for creating books, brochures, portfolios, presentations, and many more multi-page designs. InDesign works with both vector and raster graphics, so it's incredibly versatile and pays attention to not only the flexibility of using vector graphics, but also to the functionality of working with imagery. You will work with plenty of text editing as shown, with a whole range of tools to make your text publishing functions run smoothly. When it comes to images, you can easily drag and drop all your images on your template. You can create your template just like this one before even selecting the final imagery you would like to work with. Sometimes publishers might want to see the template layout before using any final imagery. You can create booklets with large amounts of images or even focus on different aspects of each image and fit them into the proportion you would like to display them in. Like this, for example. This piece was created by Adi Rivera Sonda and I'm highlighting different features of her work for this example. You will be able to customize your image layouts and change the proportions of your images as well. Once you're happy with your layout, you can start on your next page. And this is Adobe Illustrator. As the name suggests, this is every illustrator's go-to. It's a vector graphics editor with tons of vector editing effects. It doesn't only cater to vectors though. You can also work with raster graphics, but you'll find some limitations when it comes to editing. This design I created myself shows you a combination of both vector and raster graphics. So for example, just focusing on the vectored components, you can expand or even reduce the size of your object. You can play around with color and even give a unique gradient to your design. You can even manipulate the vector points and change shapes of your vector designs and even apply crazy effects that completely change the composition of your design. Adobe Illustrator also includes layering to keep your designs organized. Adobe Illustrator also works very well with tablets for illustrators who prefer using a physical pen tool rather than your standard computer mouse. It's essential to have Illustrator files because you never know when your client will need you to make a specific change to areas in your design work. Get creative on Illustrator. And this is Adobe Fresco. Adobe Fresco is your app for digital painting and sketching. I'm currently using a tablet and every creative action I'm performing is being done with a digital pen tool. Fresco is unique because it supports vector and pixel-based brushes while integrating both desktop tools like Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. You can export your Fresco illustration files like this one on your Adobe desktop apps in order to make specific changes. After you're done, you can export them back to Fresco without any conversion changes to your files. You have access to thousands of brushes with the opportunity to import unique and customized brushes as well. You'll be able to see how similar the layout is to existing desktop apps like Photoshop. The layers window is situated on the right, keeping your work organized with all your tools such as brushes on the left hand side. Fresco is a great way to illustrate away from your desktop and comfortably illustrate on the go. This is Procreate. Procreate is one of the most popular illustration apps for tablets, focusing on digital painting and sketching. 
Every action I'm currently taking is being done with a digital pencil tool on a tablet. Procreate gives you a vast library of digital brushes to experiment with, as well as the option to download premium brushes that suits your style. It's considered a great choice when it comes to tight budgets, as there's only a one-time app purchase for the software as opposed to subscription-based apps in the app market. And aside from illustration, Procreate has the ability to animate your designs. You can export your work to many types of files, including Photoshop, PDF, TIFF, JPEGs, GIFs, and even MP4. An excellent choice for illustrators on the go, a great app for all skill levels with a very easy to use interface. Welcome to Adobe Photoshop. You probably heard about this many times. It's definitely one of the most popular design apps for illustrators. And as the name suggests, Photoshop is an image creating and editing tool for pixel based images, raster graphics and vector designs. It is one of the top programs publishers request illustrators work in for books. This is because of its ability to save in layers and its editing capabilities. Make sure to check out our video on layering in Photoshop for more info on why that's important and how to work with layers. The possibilities are endless.